So once again, we are doing a morning prayer from the Earth Gospel, an excellent book by Sam Hamilton Poor, uh, which I commend to uh, everyone. If you can get a copy of the book, please do. And uh, today we're doing morning prayer from Monday of week two. And after a moment of quiet to collect ourselves, I'll begin with an opening from Isaiah 44. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, who formed you in the womb. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who by myself spread out the earth. Scripture reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 12 to 15. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens with a span, enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or as his counselor has instructed him? Whom did he consult for his enlightenment? And who taught him the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the aisles like fine dust. Go ahead, Meredith. Uh, from another voice, this time Martin Luther, the great reformer. God is substantially present everywhere, in and through all creatures, in all their parts and places, so that the world is full of God, and he fills all. But without his being encompassed and surrounded by it, he is at the same time outside and above all creatures. These are all exceedingly incomprehensible matters, yet they are articles of our faith and are attested clearly and mightily in holy writ. For how can reason tolerate it that the divine majesty is so small that it can be substantially present in a grain of wheat, on a grain, over a grain, through a grain, within and without, and that although it is a single majesty, it nevertheless is entirely in each grain separately, no matter how immeasurably numerous these grains may be. His own divine essence can be in all creatures collectively and in each one individually, more profoundly, more intimately, more present than the creature is in itself. Powerful words from Isaiah and Martin Luther. Thank you. Let's take two minutes to reflect in silence on these readings. As we move into prayer, we remember, thankfully, the gift of springtime for many of us. We're thankful for the many things that uh, 
go right and the, the many blessings we enjoy each day. And we pray for peace throughout the world, but especially in the Ukraine and for all those who need our prayers. Go ahead, Judy. The prayer is from Uniting Church in Australia. Gracious God, we praise you for the marvels of your creation, for plants growing in earth and water, the life inhabiting lakes and seas, for all that creeps through the soils and land, for all creatures in the wetlands and waterways, for life flying above earth and sea, for the diversity and beauty of your creation. We stand in awe and wonder. Amen. Amen. And the blessing for today. May the one who can scoop the ocean with one hand, the one who is profoundly present to each grain of sand, hold you firmly and carry you gently this day. Amen.